Hi everyone, Amanda with ANMC Holistic Health. You can find us at anmcholistichealth.com. That's the clinic site. And you can find all kinds of resources and more recipes and things like I'm going to show you today on foodfxtools.com. So today I'm going to just kind of demonstrate um, the little brunch meal that we're having and how that looks on the Food FX chart. And for those of you that are in programs with us, and I have mentioned to you one of the strategies would be to combine two proteins at a meal. This is a good one to pay attention to. Um, one of the reasons for that is when you combine two proteins, especially if it's like if you're going to use an animal protein and then combine it with a plant protein, your chances of getting a complete amino acid panel through that protein sort, those two protein sources, is much greater, and you need those amino acids. So the meal that we're going to use, this is a good example. So I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can see the meal and how I chart it on the food chart. So here is, it's called a Mexican egg scramble. And all it was is two eggs um, that I just beat with a, just a pinch of salt. And I just fried that egg. I added a fourth of a cup of chopped spinach. And then I chopped up some cherry tomatoes, about a fourth of a cup. And then I used a half a cup of black beans. On the side is a serving of, of uh, freshly cut strawberries. And so I think that's all I added in there. I'm trying to think. Maybe a little sprinkle of salt and pepper, I think, was all that we used for seasoning. And so how that looks when we tally that on a food chart, you have your two servings of protein over here. So here's your beans. Here's your egg. Now this makes two. So I'm putting this as a serving. So for one person. Um, then we have your tomatoes. Your spinach is a serving. A fourth of a cup of spinach, a fourth of a cup of tomatoes is a serving each. And then we've got the strawberries. We don't have any congesters in this meal. And eggs are a good fat. Now, remember, we kind of cut that category in, in half because there's some fats that we want to be more moderate, moderate with, like the saturated fats and the trans fats. Um, and then there's the ones that really do help us. Keep in mind, when you eat these, not only do you add more tallies to this column, but they delete the ones that are above. So this is how this would look on a food function chart. And so you can see our goal always is that this star column, it has more tallies in it by the end of the day. Or if you're going meal by meal, then you would want it to be more in that column. And then we have the two proteins giving us more of a complete full amino acid panel. Thanks for watching.